Hello and welcome to another Showgirl story time. Since it's my favorite month of the year, it's October and there are costumes and playthings everywhere. All of this, all the stores have all the fun things. I wanted to talk about my top 10 favorite costumes in my whole life. <laughs> I have a mix of costumes from growing up and being in professional shows and some of the costumes I've created in the last five or six years. Number 10 is my Moonlight Trio costumes I created for a mini showgirl production. And uh, that was probably my favorite project to date as far as like something I've made. Um, just the process of it was so much fun, my love created three separate crowns, two that were the same because they were the chorus girls and then there was one principal. And that those costumes are constantly evolving. Um, it, it includes the bow crown, includes the two moonlight crowns, and then the body chains and the, the, uh, the skirts. They don't all exist anymore. I've actually taken apart some of them to re reuse some of the stones and the feathers and I just don't think I'll be performing that trio anytime soon, but I have the individual costumes. So I have the bow with the body chain and then I have the moonlight with the body chain. I still have the bras and G's. Uh, the only thing I don't have are the feathers and the hats. Um, some of the feathers were used on this hat. <laughs> so um, most of my costumes are works in progress. Um, they just keep evolving. Um, I don't think any of them are done, but maybe they are as done as they can be for now. <laughs> number nine. So number nine was a costume I wore in Jubilee uh, towards the end of my time there. I uh, love, love, love the white principal disco costume. The white principal disco costume was designed by Pete Menifee and was like my favorite to wear towards the end because it was just every time I put it on I just felt so fierce and you could just like with the choreography and everything it was like I was donning that fierce thanks for watching today that is now if you bizarre. enjoyed this video and want to <laughs> and learn more so, about me you can head uh, that, to my website the time. link is in the just, description beautiful please remember to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss a thing kind of pulled into some of my other hats and things which I'll talk about in a few minutes um, I loved the white disco. It had a, a beautiful body chain that um, this is very similar to it. Um, but then it also had sleeves, rhinestone sleeves. And these guys, they must have weighed like 10 pounds each. <laughs> maybe not, maybe five. Um, and they hooked to the body chain and they were so heavy. Um, I don't believe a lot of the girls towards the end wore them just because they were just like so heavy. I don't know. I haven't seen them in pictures, <laughs> which is funny to me um, that they got to choose which costumes they got to wear or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe they, they just broke and they couldn't keep the rhinestones. There was a lot of rhinestones and it was all metal. So uh, that's, that's number nine, white disco. Number eight was my pas de deux costume, the love pas de deux in Samson and Delilah that I did with my partner, Andrew. This costume was made for me. <laughs> so that's why I love it. And it made the list because this costume was designed and made for me. So I'm not sure who got it after I left, but um, it was the best fitting G that I ever wore. It fit like a glove. It was perfect. And it was, it was lovely. And uh, I know some of the pieces came like my crown, the crown that I was wearing came from a G string. <laughs> And he, uh, Marius was the one who designed it and made it. And he kind of like took that piece and molded it into a crown. So that was really cool that I had that beautiful piece um, as part of my, uh, my costumes. And um, yeah, that was my love costume. Number seven is my Gazellus costume. And that's the one I've made recently. It's taken me five years, <laughs> five years to finally finish it. It's almost done. <laughs> it was inspired by the Flamingo Hilton sign. And you can kind of see the, the horizontal um, inspiration and even the shape of the 
flames. And of course I chose purple because I love purple. And um, then every, uh, let's see, the crown came last. The crown was like the last piece to be done, but everything else, the, the bra, the G, the dress, all of the jewelry, the body chain, that was my very, very first body chain. So it's not as um, robust as this one. It seems still very fragile, but it's still gorgeous. And yeah, that's the Gazellus costume that my love and I designed and made. Number six is a tie. <laughs> when I went through this list, I was like, I bet I want these two costumes on here. And, and so I just put them both, they tied because they're just so, they were just my favorite costumes um, to wear as a nude in Jubilee in the finale. One is the 747 or DC-10. It was an amethyst or purple uh, finale costume designed by Bob Mackie. And it was called the 747 because it literally was six feet wide. It was wider than your finger. And when you walked, you had to kind of move it along because you couldn't turn your head because it was so heavy and you would hurt your neck. So that was just one of my favorite um, purple costumes. And then the red costume, the pizza hat was another favorite. I only got to wear that for three weeks. <laughs> so that hat normally is worn by a six foot nude at least, just because it's all hat the entire, it's, a, it's just a giant pizza and drapes and drapes and drapes of uh, ostrich and stones and everything. And then, you know, the skirt. It just was, it was just beautiful. And so I got to wear it because my red costume that Judy Jetson was being refurbished. So I got to wear it for three weeks and it was, it was just fun. Um, I did notice towards the end that I had a like weird thing in my neck and it was nice to get my Judy Jetson back because my Judy Jetson was so, so lightweight. So those are my uh, number six, two favorite uh, Jubilee finale costumes. Number five is a burlesque costume that I created the very first year I was doing burlesque. And I created it for the special Halloween shows that happen every year. And I didn't want to be zombie gross and I didn't want to be vampy, uh, vampire woman. So I thought I would be super cutesy, unexpected, creepy doll. I made the wig and then sourced everything else I added to it. And I decided I wanted to be on point for this act because that was one thing not very many people were doing in burlesque was dancing on point. And uh, yeah, I workshopped this act with uh, a couple of famous burlesque performers and my original idea was to have to be a either marionette or to um, be a wind-up doll. And I was told, I don't move like a wind-up doll. I don't dance stiffly. I am very fluid. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll be a rag doll. So the creepy doll has kind of a rag doll feel to her. And the transformation that the creepy doll makes is when there is music, she takes off her clothes and becomes sexier and more fluid and not a floppy lip. The final reveal of this act was not necessarily my boobs. It was the fact that I had buttons for eyes. Quite the showstopper. <sighs> Number four, completely not pretty costume, but it was probably the most clever costume I think I've ever done. And that was the year that I was pregnant on Halloween. <laughs> and <laughs> my first daughter, Aja was in my belly and I was a mummy to be. <laughs> and it literally was the fastest costume I've ever made. I went to Joann's and I bought a yard of some gauzy looking fabric and just wrapped myself. And I was so hot and I was still in Vegas. I was so hot and pregnant. And I was just like, I just was not happy. So it was the first time in my life that I ever had ugly makeup on. Um, <laughs> for Halloween, I always am pretty, always, no matter what, I'm always a pretty something, pretty princess or pretty ballerina or something. I've always been something pretty. I was never into the gore. So that's number four. Number three, also a childhood costume. I was uh, Wonder Woman. She was my idol growing up 
and my mom made these amazing costumes. Hopefully I have a picture to share with you because I couldn't find it. Um, hopefully my sister has it. <laughs> um, yeah, I loved Wonder Woman and my mom made the whole thing. I don't know how she did it, but she figured it out and she made it and it was awesome. And I felt so strong. <laughs> and number two, my second favorite costume of all time is this one right here. My behemoth hat and noir body chain. It's, it just is like my favorite costume to put on lately. It just, it feels so good. It's a real show, a real showgirl hat now. <laughs> it's a feat of like engineering and there was no, there's some, a little bit of inspiration from Pete and Bob, but it's my own design. Like it's something that I created, even though the Moonlight crowns were also, they're more Felix's um, design. I just said, I want something frilly and then poof. And so he kind of just figured it out because I just don't like my sketches. So this is like my second favorite. Uh, the color yellow is one of my favorites and um, it has five boas on it. So that's really cool and I love it. Oh no, not five, six. I think I need a seventh. So <laughs> I won't be able to get the yellow. So I'll probably do a white one down the center. Maybe someday. Um, see, I told you my costumes are never done. <laughs> uh, so are you ready to find out my favorite costume of all time? I bet you already know. <laughs> if you've been around long enough, you know what my favorite costume is. It was Black Principal Disco in Jubilee. And this costume was so fun to wear. It was um, designed by Pete Menifee for uh, the, the discos. Um, two of the girls wore these costumes and had the beautiful pheasant feathers like these and little yellow, um, I think he said duck feathers, tips and uh, uh, right, uh, sequins on the end. And it just felt so fun to wear and it, the way it moved. I mean, that's why I, like, I've been kind of swaying in this hat because it's just fun to move and these feel these feathers around you and it's just, it just feels good, so. That's it for my top 10 favorite costumes of all time. <laughs> but it's just, it's nice that, um, it's nice to remember some of these costumes that I've worn and how like I've come out like of a, of a shell or I feel like the real me has come forth when I put these costumes on. So that's another reason some of them were my favorites like the, the white disco, like my fierceness was able to come out. And uh, yeah, just costumes are amazing. They're transformative, even, even when you're not wearing them, just your body remembering how it feels to wear them. I still remember how some of the costumes in Jubilee felt to wear. And, you know, I relish that feeling because it can't happen anymore, <laughs> sadly. So thank you for joining me. I hope that you are enjoying this fun month and I hope you dress up this weekend and go have, well, don't go have some fun, actually. It's a full moon <laughs> on a Saturday on Halloween. So please be safe <laughs> if you do go out. Please be safe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.